Hey, how you doing? Welcome back, DVD. How's your day, night, evening, whatever going? Hope it's going well. Finally went to the movies again uh, the other day, and no, I did not see Rogue One. Yeah, Star Wars story, Rogue One. I feel kind of bad. I haven't seen it yet. I was just thinking today, uh, this is the first Star Wars film that I can remember, you know, pretty much since episode one. Like episode one, two, three, and seven, I saw an opening day. This is the first Star Wars movie I haven't seen yet. I mean, it's Monday and I haven't seen it yet, so I feel bad. The reason that happened, that I haven't seen Rogue One yet, is we decided to go see Doctor Strange yesterday instead because I felt bad. I haven't seen that film yet. Out of all the Marvel movies, this is, believe it or not, we're up to number 14, I believe, for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, yeah, I've seen pretty much every single one. I think the second Thor movie is the only one that comes to mind that I haven't seen on the big screen. So, this movie came out, what, like a month ago? I haven't seen it yet. A lot of people I know have already seen it, and they were nice enough not to spoil it for me. So the wife and I said, fuck it, we went and saw Doc Strange. Um, did I like it? Yes, I did. I like. didn't love it, but I dug it. I liked it. Um, just to talk about it a little bit, um, a lot of the movie worked really well. Um, it is, like a lot of people are like, it's another fucking origin story. We've seen too many of them. But many people have said it before me. I kind of want my first, like, Introdu uh, inter introduction films to these characters on the big screen, I kind of want them to play out like an issue one comic book. I mean, a lot of us geeks take this for granted that we already know a lot about the characters, but average Joe cinema goer knows nothing. And to be honest, like, I love comic books. I know very little about Doc Strange. I knew the broad strokes going in. But, I mean, I don't know him as well as, say, like, The Incredible Hulk or Captain America. I just don't. I never read most of his stuff. It's kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy. Never really started reading much of that until about a year, maybe two years before the movie came out. Before then, I was like, nah, I don't need it. But, so, it did. It plays out like a typical, like, a lot of people compare it to Iron Man, which is completely justified. And it leads into one of my critiques of the film, um... The opening, the, uh, the betrayal of Doctor Strange when he is a surgeon, it, I can see why people are just like, dude, it's nothing more than a Tony Stark clone. I mean, it's the young, good-looking, uh, you know, basically philanthropist, whatever you want to call it, full-on rapist, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, he's rich, he's cocky, he's got an attitude. You know, they're very comparable, and of course, you know, a life-altering experience happens to him, and... You know, they turn into the hero by the end of the film. But, you know, I'm okay with that. Like, that's what you're going to get in, in, in these movies. Like, going to the theater yesterday, uh, we showed up early to the theater because I was like, the theater's going to be a fucking madhouse because of Star Wars opening this weekend. You know, I just, I'm not worried about a crowd in our flick. I'm just worried about being in a line for a long time to get the tickets. But I was like, dude, there's going to be nobody in Doctor Strange. Everybody's seeing Rogue One. Well, I was wrong. That theater was about half filled for Doc Strange. And I always kind of look around before the movie starts, just kind of gauge the crowd. And seriously, like, it was the silver-haired crowd, like, so to speak. I was kind of looking around like, okay. Interesting. Allied sold out. That's why you're seeing some Marvel comic book movie. But... Truth be told, the movie played really well with them. Like the, 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 we were sitting off to the left side of the theater. Most of them were sitting in the center, and they were eating it up. They were laughing louder than we were. So the movie played well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like my only critique. What very little I know about Doctor Strange, I'm like, he is not a Tony Stark clone. And this was just me. Like, a lot of people are just, were like, what are you talking about? But... I don't know, I, I was just like, I've eh, been there, done that, we've kind of seen this before, but, yeah. But, otherwise, like, it, it's no fault on uh, the part of Benedict Cumberbatch, because, Cumberbatch, because he did a great job, he was awesome. It was more of the script, the way they wrote him at the beginning there, while you're going through these familiar tropes of the introduction to the guy, the shattered person who's going to, you know, pull himself together to become a hero by the end. 
you know. But um, the rest of the cast is awesome. I don't know. Well, I do know why people were bitching about Tilda Swinton, but she was awesome, so shut the hell up. She's amazing. I don't care that she's a man in the comic book. She was awesome. And uh, Miles Mackinson, um, I was, uh, the, guys I, uh, the guy I always remember from Casino Royale, he played the villain in the first Daniel Craig uh, Bond movie. Casino Royale, he was the villain in this. He was really dope. He was believable. Like, his motivation, because that's the thing about the Marvel movies. Yes, Marvel movies are the best, like, comic book franchise films out there, without question, in terms of, like, quality of product and success at the box office, because, honestly, they got both. Um, but <laughs> the one place they're lacking is their villains, and this one, while he's not terribly memorable, I'll say that, um, probably not in the, you know, long scheme of things, you know, he's better than, you know, What's his butt and freaking the second Thor movie? So it's a pass. Anyway, it's a cool flick. Um, I really wish we would have saw this in 3D. It's one of those movies I usually don't care too much. I don't put too much weight on seeing a film and, you know, I gotta see it in 3D. But uh, this is the type of film, definitely. The middle sequence where uh, Doctor Strange is running around the cityscapes and they're like twisting around Inception style. You see it all the times in the trailer. Um, I can imagine that shit looked fucking awesome in 3D because, truth be told, a lot of the special effects in Doctor Strange, once again, were, like, this is some of the best stuff they've done, like, in terms of visual uh, splendor, so to speak, like, spectacle on the screen. Um, did they use it a little bit too much by the end? A little bit, but it, it worked well enough that it's forgivable. So, I don't want to rattle too much on anymore. I mean, anyway... Basically, if you were going to see this movie, you would have seen it by now. But I uh, hope I convince you to check it out because Marvel's just turning them out and this is another one in the wind column. Like I said, I wouldn't put it as high as stuff like Civil War or the first Avengers movie, but, you know, it's good as, you know, any of the other origin films, if not a little bit better. A um, little bit better written. Um, but yeah, check it out. Anyway, DVD, thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you soon.